Okay, so I just got Wolfen from the Steam Summer Sale, which is an ARPG like Diablo 4, if uh, you aren't familiar with it. And one of the community layouts had a really cool uh, virtual menu that after playing around with it, I really want to implement in Diablo 4. So while this game is loading in, I'll show you the menu. So it's a radial menu on the left touchpad where as I go around it, it's got icons, it changes the name of what's happening. Uh, it's got a little bit of haptic feedback and it, it's really, really great. So like, so for instance, if I push passives right here, it brings up uh, the passive tree. Uh, let's see, skills. Here's my inventory in the center. So, brings it up. So yeah, I wanna try to implement that in Diablo 4 and see how it goes. Okay, so here we are with Battle.net. So one of the things that's a little bit annoying here is that I play both WoW and Diablo 4 through the Battle.net client, and that means that I'm gonna to have to switch back and forth every time. And I have had issues specifically with non-Steam games with configurations not saving, uh, and even have had games crash and the entire Steam Deck crash by attempting to switch the controller configuration at certain times. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Let's see if we can get it to work and uh, go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna make this video kind of raw. We're just gonna try to go for it and see what happens. So we want a new layout from a default template with mouse trackpad. Uh, joystick, yep, that's right. We want the right trackpad to be a mouse, and we want to change the left trackpad to that radial menu. And we're going to mess with the back buttons too. So, oh, I need to move myself. We're going to apply this. Cool. Okay, let's see. So, we need to edit this layout. All right, so before we do this, I wanna go back and see if I can save this just as a new template. Cause that's where I've had issues in the past. Export. Okay, we're gonna call this Diablo. Diablo 4 radial menu. Okay, for now we're gonna keep it personal shareable okay let's just keep it personal save hmm. okay so hopefully this works well so we're going to just right off the rip try to make a this virtual menu i have to keep moving myself it's not the right thing okay so we are going to go to virtual menu Add a virtual menu. I guess we're going to call this uh, D4 menu. That's fine for now. Radial. So already it's gone, right? What? D4 menu. Radio menu. Doesn't exist. Okay, if I go back to it. Okay, well let's try again. Okay, so I guess fifth time is the charm. I had to add a uh, different virtual menu, delete it, and then I could get a radio menu. These are some of the issues that I'm talking about with the controller configuration that I've ran into, specifically with non-Steam games. Okay, so anyway, moving on. We want the center button to be, hmm, do we need it to be the inventory? What's the most used thing? Let's just do the inventory for now. Okay. That's C on the PC. This, let's make it inventory, backpack, 
Yeah. Red. Okay, and then I want to change the name. Or character. That's pretty good. Character. Hmm. So it's at the top. It's not the center. Center button. Okay, the center button I want to change. Cool. Red. Done. Rename. Character. Okay, so the radio button one, let's do skills, I think, right? And that's the A key. Let's see. Wilson uses this for skills, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, actually, the skills are like, you know, in that passive menu. But that could be Paragon points. Let's just do this. Purple. That works. Okay, we're gonna call this skills. And this might not save, right? Considering all the issues that we have. Okay, so I'm gonna fill out the rest of these and, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so pending that this doesn't delete itself, I think we got uh, a lot of the commands for the most part. What I'm not quite sure about is uh, like shift C and shift S are the defaults for opening up the skill tree and the class menu. So like the book of the dead for the necromancer. Um, so hopefully those work. We'll, we'll see and we'll tinker with it, but we'll get those to work. I what I really don't want to do is I don't want to have a special key assignment that if you were to use this template, you would have to reassign a menu item uh, for a single key press. Maybe that'll be necessary, but I don't think it, it will. I think we can get that to work, but hopefully this doesn't delete itself and uh, we can get this to, we can play around with it in the game right now. Okay, so here we are, the moment of truth. Hopefully this works. So it didn't delete our configuration and I can roll over these and see. So uh, let's try the easiest one first character <laughs> that one works okay uh so if i press it again it toggles on okay so let's try tree that's cool maybe i should change the icon though i kind of want that icon to be the paragon board okay skills okay so skills and tree uh we'll switch that class okay that's cool that's really good the journal so i wanted this one a lot because you know i can press select and that brings up the map no problem uh but i really wanted the journal to come out because it's a little bit awkward nice okay so this just works assignment okay no, that's perfect okay so i'm going to switch these around a little bit and i also one of the things i changed was uh, sometimes when I'm running around, pressing the right D-pad to get the horse is a little awkward. So uh, I changed that. What did I change that to? Okay, so back button. Cool. And then the other thing that's a little bit annoying is if I'm running. Okay, so say I'm running around in the in uh, Nightmare Dungeon and I want to open the map. I have to move my thumb from the left thumbstick to the select button and press it. So I'm like stop, open map, go. So I made one of the back buttons map and it's much nicer in my opinion. What I also did is I changed my uh, right bumper and left bumper. So like left bumper is a uh, health potion. I changed it to be one of the top back buttons and then I changed right bumper to be my ultimate. Uh, it, for the, this is called R4 I think or R3 in the back. Nice, so I'm gonna switch that menu around and then uh, I'll come back and, and see if we've got it all fixed. Okay, so here we go, I think I have it finalized. So here's the skills, brings up your skill tree. Here's the paragon board, brings up the paragon board. Class, 
there, journal, assignments, and character. That's pretty good. So I've gone ahead and I made a community layout. Let's see. Diablo 4 Radio Menu Pizza Party, it's called. And if I go to the community layouts, uh, it's probably way down there somewhere. But I will try to figure out how to link a controller layout and I'll put it in the description if I can figure that out. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you like this. Hopefully uh, somebody else will use it if they find it helpful, but this is pretty cool. You know, this was inspired by that Wilson community layout and I really like this a lot. Uh, it's better than the just four hot bar button virtual menu before. So yeah, pretty neat.